Have you ever wondered how much performance gain you will get from this manual OC mode compared to the turbo mode? Well, let's find out. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into the world of GPU overclocking, specifically on the RTX 4070 laptop. We've got a classic showdown, built-in turbo mode versus a custom manual overclock. Does pushing those clock speeds manually really give us a tangible performance boost, or is the manufacturer's preset good enough? We're testing three demanding titles, Red Dead Redemption 2, Cyberpunk 2077, and the visually stunning Black Myth, Yukon. We'll be looking at minimum, average, and maximum FPS to get a complete picture. We tested Black Myth Wukong, a game known for its demanding visuals. Turbo Mode gave us a minimum of 37 FPS, an average of 50 FPS, and a maximum of 58 FPS. The manual OC struggled here, with a much lower minimum of 21 FPS, an average of 44 FPS, and a maximum of 54 FPS. In Black Myth Wukong, the manual OC performed significantly worse. We saw a 12% drop in average FPS and a massive 43% drop in minimum FPS. Next up, Cyberpunk 2077. This game is notorious for pushing hardware to its limits. Turbo Mode gave us a minimum FPS of 34.54, an average of 66.40, and a maximum of 79.24. The manual OC had a slightly lower minimum of 33.42, a significantly lower average of 47.22, but a slightly higher maximum of 80.38. Here, the manual OC took a much bigger hit. The average FPS dropped by a whopping 28.9% compared to turbo mode. The minimum FPS was also slightly lower. This is a clear win for turbo mode in Cyberpunk 2077. Finally, Red Dead Redemption 2, Turbo Mode showed some interesting results, a minimum FPS of 12.047, an average of 49.16, and a maximum of 126. Now, the manual OC, minimum FPS jumped to a much smoother 18.7. However, the average dropped slightly to 47.36, and the maximum also decreased to 117.56. So, while Turbo Mode had a higher average, the manual OC delivered a significantly better minimum FPS, which is crucial for a smooth experience. Let's break down the percentage differences for RDR2. The average FPS difference is about a 3.66% loss for the manual OC compared to Turbo. But the minimum FPS saw a massive gain of over 55%. This is a huge win for overall playability. So, what's the verdict? Based on these tests, manual overclocking, at least with my current settings, isn't consistently providing a worthwhile performance gain over turbo mode. In fact, in Cyberpunk and Black Myth Wukong, it significantly hurt performance. While the higher minimum FPS in Red Dead Redemption 2 with the manual OC was noticeable, it wasn't enough to offset the losses in the other games. Here's the key takeaway, modern GPUs are already highly optimized. Features like Turbo Mode often provide a great balance of performance and stability. Spending hours tweaking settings for a marginal gain might not be the best use of your time. In my case, Turbo Mode is the clear winner for overall consistency and performance. What are your experiences with overclocking? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more tech content. Thanks for watching.